So, welcome everybody to a very special Bravo and Netflix and Crippos Christmas Spanish <laughs> show. It's going to be a mishmash of show today. But hey, if you're watching on YouTube, John, what buttons can they click? Click the buttons below, right here. You can see all of our podcasts, our Bravo links, all of our contents right here. And, and now that's it. They're going to watch on YouTube. They can subscribe. Click those buttons now. John, if they want to watch in iTunes, which we have video and audio feeds there, we know that they should leave a review. But should they leave a five-star review or a one-star review? Um, A five-star review, of course. Right. And while you're there and you're downloading it or you're just playing it from the site... Write us a nice review and tell us how much you like it, and we will keep bringing you the content. Exactly. You guys, you know, you all always say, oh, I wish there was some way we could keep the conversation going when the You Now show ends. Head over to our website. We have forums. We have comment sections. Like, when we back these shows up, there's always a place for you to comment way down on the bottom of the page. So start the conversation over there. Yeah. Do it. Do it. What are you waiting for? Oh, we're also, on. you can become a patron and start a conversation there. That's true. The patron group is getting <laughs> a little spicy these days. I love it. I love it, too. I love seeing everybody's uh, Christmas stuff, and uh, it's very fun. It's fun. We <laughs> post stuff we don't post or talk about anywhere else there. So, uh, yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. You get access to the Facebook group, shows only for patrons. Lots of stuff. Check it out. You know who should become a patron, John? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we even say that, I forgot the most important thing. Since there are over 200 people here right now, become a I'm, fan if you're not. I'm become a fan. Sure. That's what you I'm a fan. Do. Oh, I'm already a fan, but I need to share the show. Exactly. So click your megaphones, your square up arrows, your all that stuff. John and I will post for you. Go do it now and tell everyone we're live. <gasps> I got to drink my... Square. Sideway back, man. Square. Up arrow. Megaphone. Oh, I love that one. That's a good one. Yay. Okay. So, so, John, I was also telling everybody that... um. Uh, this week, we're going to figure out what we want to do with shows going forward because there really isn't Scream Queens happening anymore. Survivor's and, done. Yes, but now are we going to get Kelly on? Didn't we say we're going to try and get Kelly on to come on and do it? Absolutely. I would love to. I need to reach out to her and get her and hopefully we'll just kind of see what her schedule's like. But like you and everyone else, the holidays, I finally was able to just not shrug my shoulders anymore and just be like, okay, I got to get organized. I need a few days. I know. That's what I, that's what I basically told everyone. We are going to take this week to try and get everything organized in mm -hmm. our real lives, in our real work, in our reality. Right? So give us this week and we're going to come back with new schedules it. and a plan in the new I year. It. I need it. We're taking 2016 by storm. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but there's a lot of well, bad there's weather. Not really stormy at your house, is it? It's kind of hot for this time of the year, isn't it? Well, it was. We had a very melty Christmas. I was. I, in, I had the I, air conditioning on. Well, you were in the sixties, weren't you? Seventy. It was 70. seventy degrees on Christmas Day. We had the oh, air conditioning. Oh my gosh! On. Seriously, it was like thirty-seven here. But global warming's not real. It's not real not real well john i want to save all the fun talk about our christmases for the end of the show we have to we have to end on how i don't want to end talking about kenya and i don't want to end talking about murders <laughs> so where do you where should we start john you want to start on the bravo we should start with atlanta because it was on last night also vanderpump had a special night in time last night so their latest episode was on last night as well mm-hmm I want to talk a little bit about Yolanda and all the stuff going down on Tuesday with her and the other girls. Mm -hmm. And I know Top Chef California is really good. I'm not watching it. I need to catch up. And um, yeah, 
you know what we need, John? We need, need some new bloggers. Fun. No, we need some new bloggers. We need some people that know WordPress and want to cover shows like Top Chef. So if you guys <laughs> want to cover any shows, send John a message or myself a message in Twitter <laughs> or on um, <laughs> on the intern form on the website. Yeah. You can fill that out. Tell us what shows you want to cover if you're familiar with yeah. WordPress. If there's a show that you're watching and it's a great season, and honestly, I mean, we it doesn't even really have to be reality because we just Scream Queens wasn't, neither right. was American Horror Story. Right. There's something you're really getting into and you have a funny perspective of it. Send send me your stuff. I'll follow you on Twitter. Go to our website in the DM and we'll hook you up. We would love to share your opinion of it. If you're watching it anyway, you're taking a little time, yeah, do it. Seriously. It. Yeah. Serious, like, here, I'll show them really quick. See where it says um, about? See if I, like, I'm on the webpage. Mm -hmm. about. See this little last, I mean, you don't see my arrow, but see all the way on the right, it says to intern and blog. Click here. It's so like easy. That. That's so yeah. easy. Just click it and you just fill out a form and it says what show you are interested it's in. It's so having. easy. It's so easy. It's so easy. It's the easiest. Kind of like Can You More. <laughs> easy. Well, she's not that easy because she's, I don't think she got, he got a second date. So what do you, what are you thinking of Kenya Moore this season? Are you liking her? Do you think she's the new Nene? That's kind of what the gossip is that she's, the, she's the show. I think Kenya Moore thinks she's the new Nini, but mm. I um I don't think she's the new Nini. However, I love me Kenya Moore. I know people don't like Kenya Moore. I love me some Kenya Moore. I want more, more. You do want more, more. Yeah. You know what I have to say to that? What? Not, Not today, today, Satan. Satan. <laughs> Not today, Satan. Not today, Satan. One of my favorite Christmas presents. <laughs> who, who gave you that? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you know, Jerry I, actually had it made. It's Bianca Del Rio saying, but she only has hats. So he made a shirt because I say it all the time. You know, I think John posted it in the patron group. He posted a picture of his uh, Christmas tree this year. And I said, wow, I'm so glad you're not putting your presents in trash. It was like the split screen of like five years ago and this two. year. <laughs> and, and two years ago, John used to like to put Christmas presents in trash bags. <laughs> You know, the picture made it look like that, but eh, whatever. If if you're my secret Santa and I think you're a little trashy, I'm going to put it in a trash bag. I don't care. Who cares? So what? Was it for Rachel? Guess what I'm... Guess what I'm... Not today, Satan. Not today, Satan. <laughs> not today. Crafty Chick loves your shirt, John. Um, Con for Peace says, I don't care for Kenya. Um, and, oh, Blinky, um, became a patron today. Thanks, Blinky, for becoming a patron. Thanks, Yay! Blinky. No, um, I, I think Kenya, you know, the thing that this last episode, last night's episode was really great because we got to see Kim Fields for once, get excited about going out with the girls, mm -hmm. getting out of the house, painting her nails. She arrived in this outfit, which wasn't probably the best outfit for her. She had thigh high boots she had short uh hot shorts on they were leather you know you but she was excited you, she finally she wasn't crying to go home or missing her family and that kenya that black devil just ripped her apart in the interviews and you know i, I think if you want someone to work with you that has a kind of a celebrity for your pilot when you're a bride and a horrible actress in it, i think you kind of want to be a little nicer right you catch um more flies with honey? First of all, Tootie, 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 I'm on Kenya's side here. You're a little stuck up, Tootie. You think you're a little bit better than everybody else, Tootie. And I think Kenya Did you know who Kenya Moore was before she started the show? No, and that Did is... Did you know who Tootie was? Uh, yes. Arrest my case. Wow. Arrest my case. Seems like that's one point I can bring up a score. You know what I think this. of that? You know what I think of that? Not today. <gasps> that's what I think of that. Uh, mm -hmm. I saw your little tweet too. Yeah, you I saw your little your little lush tweet with all the products sold out. I called ahead and bought them all. <laughs> okay, well that's not lush, precious, but you're close. That this isn't lush, but I saw your lush no, tweet I and I got all did. these too. 
<laughs> I want those. Where did you get them from? Yeah, Santa. Santa got them for me. Santa. Santa's a dick. <laughs> That's what I have to say. Santa didn't get me any of those. Stupid Santa. All right. Well, we'll talk more about okay. it. Okay. So, um, yeah, look, it's no secret. I already told everyone earlier, I didn't watch Vanderpump or Real Housewives of Atlanta. So I really don't know what happened. I'm just interjecting into what you're saying, John. Absolutely. We don't have to give all of it away. You can pretend and act. You are an actor just like the Vanderpump cast is, right? They're exactly. actors. Exactly. Inspiring actors. Exactly. So what did, so, I mean, was that all that happened with Kenya and um, Kim? They just had their little back and forth. They had their little moment with that. And then um, Derek J, um, Candy's assistant, is, you know, getting into the ruckus with the ladies because Phaedra owes Todd money and she says it's 5000 Todd says it's 8000 but mind you, she, he, she's already paid him $30,000 or it's $25,000 of a $30,000, I guess, bill. And she doesn't have a product released or paid for it. So I don't know if Phaedra's a bad businesswoman and Todd's a smart businessman because he got a, a, a contract in writing. I don't know. I what to me for production. I You're good at production, right? You were doing that in Vegas. What was your bill? What would you charge well, that's proprietary. <laughs> <laughs> that's called the non-disclosure. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> no, I. Uh, well, but thirty oh, thousand. Don Juan, not not Derek J. Yes, thank you. God, if I it's could, you, if yes. I could charge the. Uh, everyone, if it's thirty thousand dollars to put you together can. a video, I think some people need to up their patron amount <laughs> five shows a week everybody five shows the week <laughs> but yes yeah, yeah. um not Derek Don Juan right John did just say that um and oh yeah and didn't he have his meltdown I thought I saw that on the coming attraction for this week and then it wasn't Portia like Don Juan got his pink panties in a ruffle no, Portia, okay, the line of the show was, you know, because when someone's coming at you and they're acting a little shady, they're a little thirsty. Right. So she says, I wish I had a big bucket of water for her thirsty ass. Who did, uh, and who did she Portia say Portia said that to um, Don Juan. Right. And I was dying, laughing, dying, thirsty, yeah. But he it's said right. her. So I noticed that Portia is throwing out a lot of the gay insults at John at Don Juan lately. I'm just saying. If he's calling Don Juan a her, and I heard her say something like he's got his panties in a twist, like he's And she girl. also said he needed a tampon. Well, then Portia, <laughs> you are not a friend of the gays, Portia, and I don't like you. So we're the only ones that can say that, because I know you say that to your husband. Well, last time I, checked, I got that from you. <laughs> last time I checked, Portia was dating men. So no, she is not allowed to say it. If she would like to switch teams, then sure, get on board, Portia. <laughs> you dumb twat. Oh, I uh, love that. that was hilarious. She's hilarious. Um, love Riley says yes, John. Thank you for not making me type that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Love Riley says Portia was all about being thirsty So thirsty. yeah I loved it uh, Interesting uh, Shelly T says thirsty with that man too She didn't learn from Duke Oh so now she has the new man right the She's new got the new Latin guy that she met in Flor in Miami When they went to Miami And they were, they were Skyping or whatever And it's just Gosh I'm just so glad I'm not single <laughs> Just because you don't want to go through it. You don't want to go through it. Oh, just the whole meeting, get to know someone. Like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was just too much. And she was just like, oh, you can see my boobs. And it was a stupid conversation. She was like, I lost seven pounds. And he's like, I hope you didn't lose it in your booty because I'm all about the booty. And she goes, oh, you like butts? And he's like, yeah, but not really. Just really liked your butt because he could see it when she was, you know twerking it when she was twerking it on pool side yeah well who is <coughs> she with now because i saw i mean maybe someone in the chat room knows i saw this picture but then it says they broke up 
So I, I like I don't know. Is, do, I don't know who that is. Maybe chat room knows who that is that they broke up, but it, I wish he would just stab her in the face. You know what I say to that? It's <laughs> ignorant. Um <laughs> Uh, he did come off. He did come in like, what y'all saying about my friends? Uh, Flippin' Skittle says, Portia's being a hoe. Yeah. I don't like Portia. She is. And you know what? The ladies kind of kind of checked her with it, too. Because it's like, you know, when she was with her husband, she was like, I don't know if I can do a Vegas trip. And everything was buttoned up to here. But now she's got her boobs and she's got her body and her bootay. And she's, she's loving it. And you know what? Let her. We have all done it. Who cares? Just let her have fun. Fun girl. Shake your hair. Shake your hair. I don't like when she has fun at the expense of taking men and trying to make fun of them because they're gay, Portia. What? I don't know. <laughs> I just need someone to be angry about and it's going to be Portia. <laughs> oh, great. So you are off the holidays. <laughs> uh, She's back. Oh, Oh yeah, and, I can say that. And and by the way, that <laughs> picture was of Duke. That was the the picture was of Duke. Um, Union the Jack Ripper says she's a man eater, and he would know. Mm -hmm. And he would know. She wants a trophy guy, says Shelly T. Portia wants a trophy guy. Who doesn't? Not me. <laughs> I'd like one that works. I just want one that's functional. <laughs> just want one that brings in money. <laughs> Just functions. Just want one that functions. Just don't be <laughs> robot. Um, I'll take the bear with tattoos. Interesting. Union Jack Ripper. Um. So what? What? So was there? Yeah. I'm so over the tape. And that's drama. pretty much it with Atlanta. Womp womp. Yeah. We saw. Can you go on a date with a younger guy? We're playing basketball. It was just boring. Kenya has no game yet. She wants a man with game. She wants a man with a job. You know, she needs to play the field and maybe Portia doesn't as much. Or maybe if they could just, you know, maybe not compete with each other, but go out together and play the field. They would be a dynamic duo if they just did that. Yeah, but then they'd be competing for airtime and none of them can handle that. It's got to be all about them. It's got to be the Kenya show or the Kim Field show or the it's insecurity. It is. It's massive insecurity. Mm -hmm. What What about my um she by Sheree? What's going on with her? How's that house? Any house update this week? Girl, we didn't see her on this episode. I think she was sweeping her porch. Wow. Well. <laughs> sweeping the dust off her porch. Well, yeah, Sheree. That means you didn't get your money for this episode. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Happy holidays. Tracy.
love. Mm -hmm. Did you see that when she came home, Juicy Joe had a brand new BMW with a nice big bow waiting in the driveway? Oh, I thought it was a Lexus. Or a Lexus. Either way, I thought it was a big (laughs) F you to the government. Yeah, because I don't know if she's even supposed to be allowed to accept gifts, right? Or is because she's guilty, she's done her time, she just has to pay the bill, but yep. can accept gifts. No, that's it. She's Because I think it's a gift. Name. Isn't it a gift? It doesn't matter. She's done. She did the gift? crime, yeah. and she did her time, so now she's free and clear. She, as I think I said, could have left that jail, and as she was driving away, went like, I did it! <laughs> I did it, fucker! <laughs> And it wouldn't matter. <laughs> and now I can work and I don't even have to ha- deal with my husband anymore for four years. Boop, boop. Exactly. Free and clear. Yeah. I Hi, it- Juicy Joe. Hi, Juicy Joe. So then you're Team Teresa. Like, you are happy she's free or not so much? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, <laughs> well, fine. Here's something. Here's something I know you'll be happy about, John. <laughs> Summer 929 says, John, Mob Wives is starting their final season. I know. I know. I know. I know. Mm-hmm. And I think, yeah, I think before it, what's the term? Jump to the shark. Oh, uh, you're, you're not obsessed with it anymore? I love Mob Wives. I've seen every season. I am just so glad. What's her name? I for, even forgot her name. The one that they were going to jump at Renee's um, party isn't coming back. And VH1 enlisted some, you know, oh, behind the scenes of what you didn't know. We knew everything from the episode. It was stupid. You know what is coming back? What? Big Ange's Cancer, thanks to Blinky, 1986. I, I've already known. Oh. It's been out for a while. It's very sad. Della G says not a big fan of the Mob Wives. Uh, I've never seen it. I just know John's a huge fan of it. Love them. Love them. Love okay. Natalie Allison P. That's who it is. Natalie is not coming back. Natalie's not coming back. Well, the, the one Natalie. There's two Natalies. I don't think either Natalie's coming back. I well, could do. what okay. about Judy? She's on Atlanta. Natalie! Um. Anyway, what happened with Vanderpump, John? What happened with Vanderpump? What are these crazy kids faking about now on the special night? What was so special that it needed a special night? Were they hitting themselves in the head? With- I was when I watched it going, why are you watching this? Um, no. So the, the guys were in Vegas for Peter's birthday. And the last thing we saw last week was... You know, Tom says, let's just go out and get drunk and scam on some girls, which was bum, 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 the cliffhanger. So stupid. And then it cuts back to them in Vegas. And so what the, the, the Toms did is they got, the, um, he got an A on his butt for Ariana. And um, the other Tom got Katie's nickname Bubba on his ass. Well, that'll Both be Both on their asses. Yeah. That'll be helpful when they're in jail. Um, <laughs> That's what she said, actually. That's really funny that yeah. you say that. Well, I don't know why you'd get Bubba put on your ass. That's what he calls her. That's her nickname, Bubba. Whatever. And ladies in the chat room, I want to know if your man or, or lady called you Bubba, is that something you would like? Because I can't imagine. Uh, how about... I'm going to call my partner Bubba. Uh, here's my follow-up <laughs> to John's question. Ladies, you're dating someone, You take and it's a man. You take off his pants, and you see Bubba across his ass. Is that the end of your dating? Just well, if it's not your nickname, yeah. But if it's your nickname... Katie said she liked it better than the, the ring on a string and everything else. It's, it's showing progress of her starting to get engaged... After dating him for like six years. Um, Katie. Sweet, sweet Katie. If you're watching, you're an idiot. Um, My favorite is Lisa Vanderpump. And I love me some Lisa Vanderpump, but she just looks like Grandma Moses when she's there. Oh, Katie, tell me all about it. It's all the tattoo on their butts, on their bums. Oh, oh, oh. I can't. Lisa, Lisa, just run your businesses, okay? Stick to the housewives. Go, go, go visit Yolanda. Go visit Yolanda. But don't talk to the Sir people. Who cares? So what? Who cares? Yeah, because they're just loser bags. Look, Trek Lord, who I know you have stuff to say about, um, or with in a few minutes, uh, says, Jax blocked me on Twitter. 
Now, <laughs> who here, blocked who? Jax blocked Trek Lord on Twitter. Now, wait, before we even go to that, maybe this is even about you, Trek Lord. I don't know. What did you say, Trek Lord? But I saw that Jax tweeted this out just five hours ago. If you block me, you're blocked. Don't message me on someone else's page and ask to be unblocked. Think before you tweet. Have a good one. Hi, Jax. Sweet, stupid, dumb as rocks, Jax. They can't see it. They're blocked. <laughs> oh my God. I was getting confused. I was like, what are you talking about? Oh, God, Jax. I can't. Mm. Oh! Trek Lord says that was me. Trek apparently Trek Lord is in a Twitter war with Jax. For what? What did you do? Trek Lord, I'm trying to go back. I'm trying to follow this conversation back, but I'm not seeing where it leads to you. Not seeing it. Tell us what you did, Trek Lord. <laughs> Tell us what you did to Jax. Were you saying how much you you liked James? Oh my god, who could like James? That's stupid. Right? Rich. Maximus Mom got blocked by Lisa Renna. Are you kidding me? The nicest Lisa, sweet, sweet Lisa Renna? What did you do, Maximus Mom? Oh, we've already been over this with Maximus Mom getting blocked by Lisa Renna. We have? Uh, oh, yes. Remember I said, what did you say? That Lisa Renna should have used her lips as a flotation device when they went to go pick up that donkey? My daughter works at a deli. She's so relatable. We're just like you, except super rich. I'm Lisa Renna. Cupcakes for Lily was blocked by the Oz twins. Well, that's not hard. Um, Who was I blocked by? Nobody. Well, there are other people, but they're not celebrities. So. Oh, well, they're not important people. <laughs> <laughs> um, who could like Jax or James, says Songy. Um, or Lala, what? Oh my god, I'm so over Lala. I did see the clip, I don't know if that was this week or last week, I saw the clip where um, Ariana was talking about the people not invited to her birthday party, and she was like, well, I didn't, I didn't, Lala was like, I didn't get invited to your party, so you didn't invite all of Sir. Just shut up. Well, she had a point. She didn't get invited. And Ariana's like, I don't know you that well. So then when the guys went to Vegas, uh, they invited Lala over for shots and then ended up, and Lala made out with all the girls. And now Lala's invited to everything. And now she's running between Jax and James. And I don't know if you saw the Watch What Happens Live with her and James on it, but it was the worst one ever. And we, I know we talked about it on this show. I don't know if I was by myself or with you. I don't know what's going on. We did. They were they We were did. Dry. They were horrible and, and just, and something was going on with their noses. And Andy's never going to have them on. Lisa made them apologize. And then Lala, last night, was going between J J um. <laughs> James. James. Who's, who's the other one? The T-shirt girl. <laughs> Not T-shirt. Jax. Jax. <laughs> Jax and James. I just mean she goes. I'm the female Jax. And when she said that, I was like, I I liked you up until Watch What Happens Live. No, I don't. And now every time I see you, I ugh. Mm -hmm. I don't. I can't. Like, look. Here's the honest to God truth. Mm -hmm. I have not watched Vanderpump really at all this season. I mean, I used to love Vanderpump, John. I used to love it. And we all know you used to hate it. And then this I season, do. I well, you didn't start out this season hating it. You started out this season loving it. And you were so excited it was coming back. And I was so over it. I was like, I'm over it. Over it. <laughs> And now I'm just here to make judgy opinions that I'm not qualified to make on any of them without watching anything. Lala, whore. Kristen, can't stand you. James, go back to Britain or wherever you came from. Jax, Britain. still a cum dumpster. Um, uh, what's the other one? T-shirt girl, get a real job. Uh, Lisa Vanderpump, you're 90. Get off the ark. Uh, Ken, <laughs> just fire these people already. You're losing Ken, money. you're Moses. Gather your tablets. <laughs> seriously. Seriously. What happened to the one girl I liked? The one girl who dated Jax and was crazy and went off to be in the movies. Remember her? Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Bring her back. She, we love Laura Lee. Yes. I know. 
Cause she used to talk like this and used to be all like, hey, Jax, I gotta go to a meeting. Wanna come to a meeting? Like her. I liked her. And don't even get me started on that other one. The fake wedding, my husband has fake drug addiction. Oh, I can't stand Sheena Shea. Sheena Shea. Shea butter. You're about as entertaining as melting Shea butter. You're about as entertaining as all of the, the, the huge pictures of your wedding all over your apartment. Seriously. <laughs> I say from my glass house. Now, I want to know, Katie looks a little pregnant. She looks a little... No, she looks fat. Katie, you're fat. I don't think she looks fat. I just think every, things, her body's changing a little bit. Like when a lady is pregnant. And I just think maybe she's seriously pushing the wedding thing because she is. And it's something that they don't want to disclose yet in the season. Is this going to be like a Phaedra miracle baby where we're not allowed to say when we actually conceived it and we have to fudge all the Jesus' baby. Could be Jesus'. We, Jesus. we, don't, we oh just had Christmas. We don't know. Oh my God. I can't with her. I can't. Uh, Tracy Gibbs says she's denying pregnancy. Has she been on Watch What Happens Live? That will tell all. If she has yeah. an alcoholic drink, Drink. she's not well she says she does but we don't know what's in the glass i'm drinking chardonnay it could be ginger ale we don't know oh andy is such a shady gay he would not let that go for a second if she was like i'm totally drinking a gin and tonic he'd be like bitch there's no gin in there why are you lying <laughs> to the people he would not let her lie at all um <laughs> <laughs> uh, who just gave you an answer? It just flew by. I'm sorry, there's so many. Oh, uh, Tracy Gibbs says she denies that she is pregnant. Um, Jack's butt looked bad, but his buddy butt... Oh, did they show their butts on the show? So the tattoos were on the butts. And they didn't blur it? No, we saw crack. Oh. It was a special Vanderpump. <laughs> it was a very special indeed. Um, they aren't together anymore, says Con for Peace. I don't know about that. Um, Lisa Teckerl had a random pasta craving. Well, that sounds good. I had uh, pasta for lunch. Oh, did you? Did. I made my own spaghetti sauce. That sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. Um, totally. Oh, right. A lot of people are talking about Jill Zarin blocking them. Apparently, Jill Zarin blocked somebody. No, um, I follow a Twitter uh, follower called Blocked by Jill Zarin. Hilarious. Yes, I liked Blocked by Jill Zarin. Yeah. Um, like, like, they, they were one of the first people blocked by Jill Zarin. <laughs> and, well, uh, Vicky still hasn't blocked me, oddly enough. Um, Violet Rita says, you guys are cute. Thanks. Um, she's a blockaholic, whatever. Look, that that <laughs> that kind of goes back to my problem with Lisa Renna. This is why I don't like Lisa Renna. Our sweet Maximus mom. Maximus mom. I don't I believe she would say a mean thing. And if she did, it would be like your shirt is a weird shade of red. I can't picture our Maximus mom saying anything bad about anybody or even just... I want to know what Maximus mom said. Maximus mom, what did you say that made Lisa Renna d block you? Let us know. Yes, um, and Maximus mom said, started watching the Bravo divorce show. Crazy stuff there. Is it the one where the, the person's trying to mediate between them or is it the scripted one, like my guide to divorce? That's what I want to know. Mm, well... I'm not even going to talk about therapy. Uh, Vicky doesn't block you because she still thinks she will get love from you. Maybe a casserole and a hug. <laughs> or a bath ball. Or a bath ball. <laughs> um, Filled with glitter. You can just glitter her tub. <laughs> she yeah, or glitter her tub. <laughs> Shelly T says, Maximus mom told Lisa Renna to mind her business regarding Yolanda. Okay, and Maximus Mom says, all I said was keep away from the Yolanda business. That's it. Now, there's my point. This is why I don't like Lisa I'm Renna. I'm shocked. This is why I don't like Lisa Renna. She's one of those people who cannot accept criticism, is not self-reflective, like reflective, inter perspective into I've herself. seen her self-reflective. No. I've seen the quote stuff no. that she puts on her Facebook page and on Twitter and love thyself stuff. and I'm not perfect and burp. Yeah, but I think, I think she was probably getting so bombarded with people 
um, about the Yolanda stuff because that's the, like the, the that's the the high point of the show. I don't even know. I don't even want to say high point, but that's the tension of the show. And she's right in the middle of it. Um, she probably just you know overreacted. I'll tweet her myself and say you need to unblock Maximus' mom because she's fabulous. Yeah, go to it right now because it's so must be so hard to be you, Lisa Renner, getting your seven hundred thousand dollars a show and having so. Lisa, you need yourself. to block reality recaps. Yeah, block reality recaps. <laughs> Here's Lisa's publicist on their new iPad Pro. Gotta make Lisa seem human. Where am I? Gotta make Lisa seem human. Tweet out normal human quotes. Make her look human. That's Lisa's publicist. Well, she's doing a great job Lisa. then. Wait, sorry, I lost my head. You need a publicist. I could be a publicist, all right? It wouldn't be for no, Lisa. No, you Renna. need a need one. Oh, well. With that mouth. Hey, Lisa Renna, Lisa Renna. You Love need, you. You need Love. to get your publicist to get you on some inflatable life vest for airplane promos. <laughs> Stupid lips. Um, and what about Lisa Edelston from Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce being a New York City club kid in the 80s? I don't know who that is, Lisa Edelston. Yeah, she's on the scripted Bravo show called Secret Guide to Divorce, and she's oh. fabulous. And I used to live by her in L.A., and I used to shop at the same grocery store as her, and she's so sweet. And I believe it. She was, like, one of the original, like, Sex in the City, like, Sarah Jessica Parker's character going to the clubs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Max and his mom says, sorry, John, Lisa cannot handle the truth. She brought out the yo issue. See, that's an example of of Maximus' mom being controversial with someone, and your precious little Lisa would block that. So. I think Lisa, again, you know, nobody's perfect. Lisa would be the first one to admit it, yeah. and did it by accident, and I will send a recommendation tweet t to Lisa for you. As a Because Lisa likes my stuff all the time. Oh, well, maybe you and Lisa should be best friends. Better yet, okay. I think everyone in the chat room should tweet at Lisa Renna and say, unblock at Maximus Mom, you inflated Ooh. lip bitch. No, I mean, no, don't say that. No, that won't That's, work. No. That won't work. Don't do that. Don't do that. Say, hey, Lisa Renna. Yeah, that's the way to get the ladies to interview with us. Yeah, you did a Thanks. great job. You should be a publicist. Say happy holidays, <laughs> How to Lisa turn Renna. everyone about the shows you talk about against Jeff. Can nope. we do that? They're going to mm. like us because we're keeping do that. it real. Mm. Guess what I say? Not, not today, today, Satan. Satan. Not today, Lisa. Not, not today. today, Satan. Yeah, not today, Lisa. Got it. You know what else I got? What? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Got a gold Seahawks hat. You don't even know what that, that is. What are the Seahawks? What are the Seahawks? They are a bird, an endangered bird. And so you got a nice gold endangered bird hat. <laughs> awesome. How many of the emoji pillows do you have, John? Virgo Baker wants to know. <laughs> oh, okay. I do like... They were sold out with the rest, one. yeah. That's my favorite one. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the Netflix show, John, so that we can then jump over to some of your Christmas and stuff. Now, tell me, you and Trek Lord were on Twitter talking about this Netflix show. What is it? What is it about? What's happening? I need to take a Xanax. We'll take your Xanax and then tell us what this show's about. <laughs> well, it's, you know, I saw it on, I think it was Twitter or Facebook. Someone was watching it, a friend of mine in L.A., and she had said, you think you have problems? Wait till you watch this 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 docuseries. It's 10 episodes. And it is just, it, it just came out all 10 episodes on December 18th. And it's about a guy named uh, Stephen Avery living in this small town in Wisconsin. And I guess he got in some kind of altercation with his cousin and she wanted to get at him. So she told her husband, who was, I guess, police officer. And correct me, Trek Lord, if I get any of this wrong, because I'm so emotional, I'm trying to remember the facts, but my emotions are heightened. Um, and then they kind of framed him and said he had done this stuff. He went to jail for 18 years and they retested the DNA. It was a, it was a like a, a murder. Retested the DNA and realized it wasn't him, and he was released. So he was going to then sue the county in Wisconsin that he lives in for like thirty six million dollars. And then 
Uh, a lady goes dis disappears. Her vehicle is ended up on his property. They have a huge salvage yard, so things were stashed. And now he's in jail for life. And, you know, I don't mean this in the, the worst or the bad way. He's not the sharpest pencil in the cup. He's a low IQ. Is he black or white? He's white. Really? And what's even more horrible is that his 16-year-old nephew at the time um, was getting questioned. And he also it doesn't have a very high IQ. And these these people, these prosecutors, these investigators were all kind of pressuring him because they wanted him to be the star witness. Kind of made him, you know, say certain things. And now he's in prison for life and was convicted. And they didn't do it. They're innocent. And what's great, and they're not really spoiling it because... What you're seeing on this docuseries is you're seeing all of the tapes, the interview tapes, what happened in court. Whoa, Hold oh, on. Oh. Hold on. Oh, we have Hold a robot on. voice. We got robot voice. Okay. We'll be right back. Come back. Okay. We'll be right back. Come back. Oh, I can't even send that message. Can you type that in the chat room, John? Just say, okay, we'll be right back. It never lets me type once we go to robot voice. Bum, ba, da, bum, ba, bum. And hi, YouTube. This is the special part of the show that you're getting to see now. Um, okay, John did that. Perfect. Let me end the show. Now we're in the section of the show, John, that only the YouTube people watch back. So, hi, YouTube people. <laughs> what can we tell... Ooh, is there anything you don't want to tell live on the air about your Christmas, John? No, I had a fantastic Christmas. What's something I don't want to tell live then that I could tell right now? Just special. I really love you. Um, um, <laughs> it's a live show. We got to keep it going. Come I on. Know, I'm <laughs> trying. I'm trying to start the next show. Come smile. On. Smile. <laughs> ah. Oh, perfect. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, okay. Got it. Perfect. Fine. That's what you all got on this one. <laughs> we're back. You got us smiling. Um, we're back. Keeping it going. More show exclamation point and microphone. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. We're not editing this. Be my patron. Go live. <laughs> Okay, and we're hopefully back. Let's see. These kids are scary. I don't know what's happening. It doesn't look like it's coming back. Uh, where the hell are the kids? Okay, are we back, everybody? Hi, Binky. Yeah. yeah do, how do we sound, everybody? Do we sound good? Do we? Welcome back. Much better. Okay, wait. Yeah. Now, before you keep going with your story, John, I realized I said something that I think people took the wrong way. When I said, is he black or white? <laughs> I was asking if he was black or white because normally these are the kind of situations that I feel get pinned on black people and I, I've i never uh, it's almost in a way I think it's uh, to date the most racist thing you've ever said well it is true that we live in a very racist time and that courts are very <laughs> racist and I agree um, that's why I wanted to know, are they doing no. this to a black person or are they doing it to a white person? It's very important <coughs> for me to know the story. Um, but you're saying it's this white dumb guy who committed a crime. But uh, then okay, was... it's not a white dumb guy. It's a white guy with a low IQ who's been taken advantage of. The whole thing of getting even with him went way too far. And when you've involved the judicial system, especially serving 18 years, and now you're free, you've been saying the whole time you're innocent, you don't have the capacity to really understand how to help yourself. Right. Because you're not a lawyer. I'm, I'm I don't I consider myself pretty smart, but I don't know if I can even do it. And then to be released and, you know, to sit there and say, you know what? I do deserve some money. I told you I did not do this. You left me in there for 18 years. Um, you know, some, I forgot what group kind of forgot his case, right. tested everything, blah, 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 you know, and then released him. And then they kind of went after him again because, you know, they didn't want to admit any wrongful doing. And it, the, the whole thing is such a mess. And I'm not spoiling anything because this has been public knowledge for years. But what this series does is it shows you all of 
the recorded interviews. It shows you all the stuff that happened in the court. There's no actors. These people actually really did it. The prosecution didn't really want to interview with the, the series, so you don't really see a lot of them, even though it makes them look pretty bad. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's so frustrating, especially with the nephew being 16. They told him, you say this, sign this statement. You, you know, he was more concerned with getting back to school and getting his assignment done. I guess I'm just... And then was arrested. I guess I'm just missing a part here. I don't understand. I'm doing a horrible job explaining it. <laughs> well, no, no. I, I, get, I get the just... So is the point of the show, like, why he was... I mean, I get that you're saying it's not a show. It's just videos. So I guess, I mean, my it's point docu- is... Yeah, the documentary on what happened. It, it puts everything in a timeline and says this is what's going on. And then the last episode is this is what's currently with it. And there's a huge thing on Twitter petitions everything it's to bring Reads. the truth to light says yeah. Tang Lang. yes all right well good i mean so i just i guess i don't understand I it is so it. frustrating it's so frustrating i mean uh, yeah it's just i just i was like can i is there a wall to punch like i'm so angry it was just so frustrating and i finished it so it's i'm i'm done but it's yeah well, then maybe you need to write a blog on it and we need to put Reality Recaps people into sign-in petitions or something. How, however they could, you know, <laughs> put your anger to use is what I'm saying. Believe me, I understand, and don't comment on this because we all know I'm not allowed, but I'll just say I understand about courts, uh, you know... <laughs> not do it, redoing bad things in order not to be guilt to not make themselves guilty. I just yeah. I kind of agree is what I'm saying. No, it is. And I saw somebody talk about the Innocence Project, which they are on it. And, you know, it's not just that, you know, this happened, there's not enough evidence. But as they're working their way up to the Supreme Court to get it appealed, nobody wants to really appeal it because then they have to admit that the system is flawed, it's not working, and they feel things can just start to fall apart. And, you know, it's and this person, this Stephen Avery and his nephew Brendan are just victims of it. And it's just it's just horrible. And to take advantage of these people who don't have the highest IQ is is just disgust it's disgusting. It's disgusting. And now before we go and talk unto our happy Christmas stuff, <laughs> let me let me just put a little let me just make this for people that are watching this back. Maybe you're hearing what John's saying and are like, I don't care. It doesn't relate to me, blah, blah, blah. Let me rewind back a little bit more and say what I was saying, where it's like this often I feel like happens to black people where they get put in jail just because they're black and it's easy to pin a crime on them or whatever. Here's why you should care for that and for this guy you know what happens you know who's paying their 32 million dollars they're gonna get when they're proved wrong we all are taxes are we end up paying for these yeah. mistakes so that's why you should all care well so. what's also too it, it there's a, a couple things that it really reminds us because i know you know we we kind of get a little personal in our our facebook patron group we've got a nice little safe little area For all of us and you know we've all talked about like different hardships we've had and different things happening and when you watch the series yet things are tough and we all have our own things that we're going through but when your freedom is taken away and you can't earn an income or you can't you know take care of a loved one or take care of your property or anything like that it's a huge difference and the thing is, in this country, unfortunately, anybody can sue you for anything. You have to prove, spend your money to to prove your innocence, unfortunately. Anybody can do anything to you. They can go to court and file a lawsuit and say, this is what it is, and you have to go, and you have to appear, and you have to pay the fees, and you've got to keep on top of everything. And it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. And it just reminds me that, ugh, it's just off. It's just... It can happen to anybody. I got an idea, John. What? Let's sue David Thielen from the chat room. (laughs) Because he never gets blocked, right? (laughs) Is that the one? (laughs) 
<laughs> let's just not block him. Let's just sue him. <laughs> David Thielen says, and that and those taxes could be patron money. Damn it. Right. <laughs> um, Absolutely. So I'm. So yeah. So it is something you guys would definitely need to check out. It's it's an amazing series and. I kind of want to watch the O.J. Simpson um, series that is starting soon, Breezy. Baby. I'm just crazy. Um, I can't wait for that to start. And that's another kind of example of something like this that happened, but in reverse. Yeah, because we all know it's, he did it. Because we all know he did it. And, you know, and all the evidence pointed to it, but he got off. So it kind of happened in reverse. So it's just, and they even mentioned the OJ trial in the series. Wow. Yeah. You know what all of that makes me think of, John? What? My Christmas. lovely Christmas table setting where myself and all people not in jail got to gather around in this lovely little tablescape. Wouldn't you, don't, come on, can't you tell me that that looks pretty? You, you would think at like, Christmas you could at least put real flowers out. Don't they have real flowers on Long Island? No. But look, we have some desserts. You like desserts. <gasps> what is that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying you like desserts. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Um, but, John, also, <laughs> speaking of presents, you surprised me, I should tell everybody, and sent me some nice little spice station spices. Those are the ones that I promised you when I saw you last in person. Yeah. In May. Correct. Better late than never. But I loved them. We were all smelling them and cooking with them. Good. They were. Yay. They were. So and is mine, is mine on its way? No, it's not. Um, but you can, you can at least, you can at least take comfort in knowing you got all of these. I need to get a few more. Yes. I w oh wait that was my love no the... let's go oh darn I swear I want the crying eye one mm -hmm, the I one that's the one that's like uh uh like that oh it is there it is there and what's the other one that I liked oh the one that you just said the one with the um the tongue the one with the tongue I love them uh, uh I'll call it Eric that's my favorite I hope they get the new one the hug one. <laughs> Oh, you call it Eric and you're licking my tongue? I guess that explains a lot. Um, what about the poop one, says Virgo Baker? Do you want the poop one, John? <laughs> Do you want the poop one? <laughs> Jeanette Lopez says, where are we getting them, John? I hope people are screen grabbing this. Um, he says, where are we getting these? I saw it in the mall. It was in a kiosk in the mall. Um, like, you know, in the middle, you can see yeah. they were $9. I was like, I'm not paying $9 for one of those. Oh, gosh. Ours weren't that expensive. Well, where'd you get yours from? I think ours were like 5 I would pay 5 for some of them. And I would even, I even think that's a fun giveaway. Like, $5 is a good price for us to pay for. Like, we need new uh, reality yeah. recaps giveaways. We should figure out how to make a reality recaps emoji pillow. Can somebody do that? <laughs> Chat room. Can somebody figure out how to take the cart? No, probably taking the cartoon of John and I is too hard. We'd have to come up with some sort of a reality recaps emoji, but I don't know what that would be. Well, I've designed pillows before. Okay, so you're going to get on that then? You want to see one I designed last for a fundraiser? Sure, why don't you pull it up on the screen behind you? Oh, you have it. Great. Well, who knew? Who knew John could do this? Um, Jackie No says the crying eye emoji was chosen as the Oxford Dictionary Word of the Year. Correct. I did know that. Um, I bet we could find a bunch of them at the Tijuana border. Love Riley. <laughs> Megan Wheelie says a gay pillow. Never been done before. Well, that's not true. It's called the wedge. Oh, look this at this. This is my cat, Jeremiah. Look at And this. it was for the rescue train, Animal. Okay. Saving one pet at a time. Wait, hold on. I'm going to make you a little bit higher. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Now flip it back around. And then I had a friend of mine who is a graphic designer create the Jeremiah pillow. 
That's cute. And Jeremiah had a beauty mark. Oh, that's yeah. Different. But I don't know. But then it's just like us as a picture on a pillow. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> I don't know if people want us as a picture. I'm like, I like how the I like how the emojis are like an actual thing. Like I would want it to be yeah. a pillow of a thing. You know what I'm saying? Not just like a picture of us on a pillow. Or not this picture. Or not that picture. But I wish they could like make just our heads that as pillows. That was the pillows. last gift I got from you. So that was not the last gift you got from me. Uh, you want to see the last gift I got from you? Hold on. Where's a broken ashtray? Um, <laughs> right. I don't have one around here. Uh, <clears throat> um, I, oh, excuse it. me, excuse me. I bought you a bed, a two hundred dollar bed, so you'd have something to sleep. Uh, that on. I couldn't take with me. Well, did you have it to sleep on? <laughs> then you did. Woke up. Hashtag you're welcome. Um, people, John, I think that's a good idea. I think we should take those cartoon faces and make them into emojis. Somebody yeah. has to know how, an emoji pillow or a regular emoji. Look, people, you got to help us out. John and I are very we busy. Yeah, we're, just, we're very busy. We're very busy. Somebody, <laughs> we're Shelly, ninies. We're very busy. Shelly T said, Eric and John giving us head. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Just do the emoji and put a label. I don't know what that means. I can. All right, look, if anybody knows how to make this happen, if anybody knows how to take our graphic, we have it as a Photoshop graphic. If you know how to pop our heads off and turn them into emojis or pop our heads off and make emoji cartoon pillows, you tweet John or I and let us know. Do the paper face mask. Pillows are money to mail, says Giselle. No, I would mail a pillow. How You could take a pillow and stuff it in a one of those envelopes. That can't weigh a lot. I think when you mail an envelope, it just goes by weight. Oh, what about those boxes from the United States? The flat States? rate. Those stuff, the flat rate. Those are really expensive. They are they really expensive? Be, I am telling you, John. Like, for example, Mila Moo sent this little box with, like, two pieces of Lush and Charlie dog treats. It was, like, $10 to mail. Like, I couldn't believe the postage on it. The The post office has gone insane. As I know, when I was going to mail it, and the lady online behind me went, was going like this. I can't believe there's no Christmas music playing in here, considering that the Christmas season is what keeps all of you employed, but there's a war on Christmas in the post office. And I told her to turn around to her and say, can you do me a favor and just shut the fuck up? God, you people in New York... Or you need to relax. Seriously. My post office had the little Snoopy five cent stamp booth, literally, that was like the cartoon. And she was sitting in it selling stamps. Well, welcome to New York. We <laughs> apparently do not. And I didn't even need stamps. And I'm like, I, I want stamps. It looks so cute. <laughs> Everybody is saying, just send the pillows with the no stuffing. Okay, everyone, first of all, there yeah, aren't even almost. any pillows available yet. That's <laughs> number one. Number and two, stuff your own. When number you get. two, the stuffing is going to be what? In an extra dollar? We're good. <laughs> we can swing it to mail it in an envelope. I promise. Stuff it and restitch it yourself. <laughs> I know. Just make your own pillow yeah, and just, show it. <laughs> here's a better giveaway. You just make your own pillow and pretend make we gave it to you. Make your own giveaway and say it's from us. Right. Right. <laughs> we'll print a little thank you note that you can just print okay. out yourself. In fact, it's a template on the website right next to the intern. It's true. <laughs> You're going to need to use your own ink to print it and then oh, tweet yeah. it out and make it look like we sent it to you. <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> Allison P. says, just forget about the pillow. No, Allison P. I want to know if somebody can make this happen. I love this idea as a giveaway. Pillows. Think of how great it's going to be. All the tweets that you can be like, Eric's giving me head. John's giving me head. Think of all the great Oh, Eric's giving tweets. you head. John's giving you tongue. No, you don't have tongue. It would be great if yours could have a little martini glass somehow, though. If I yours could have like a little arm. Like yours would have a beard. Mine would have a... I would like if mine had a microphone, but yours should have a mark. But we can't. It needs to just be the head. But it should have, like, little arms that can stick out. Oh, like the little hand. You know the little hand thing, right? <coughs> well, now we're getting into the M&M trademark. 
no, 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 this. This is a Christmas gift I really wish I would have gotten. The little hands, you know, so you can... Oh, yes. Like with the mashed potatoes. I'm going to get it with my little hand. With me, my, by myself. So what did you do, John? People seem to know what I did for um, Christmas. What did you do? Did you stay home? Did you go away? I didn't. My partner has a big family, and I made another 20-pound turkey and stuffing and corn pudding and and made most of the food for christmas eve and then had christmas eve at my sister-in-law's and it was wonderful and she decorated her house beautifully and if you're friends with me on facebook you know you see all those pictures of all of that and i'm just about the food like thanksgiving's my favorite holiday i'm really not about the presents too much because I have to return a lot of stuff. Says just the has... person who posted his tree with 9,000 presents under it. That didn't wrap one. <laughs> I have to say, I was like, ooh, those are wrapped really nicely. I know. He's getting gayer, which I love. He's just really embracing it. He is embracing mm -hmm. it. Ah, Allison P. says, so someone's going to make you guys pillows and then you're going to give them away? I don't think so. Allison P. I'm going to try again. Maybe if you don't understand, other people aren't understanding. We're looking for someone to tell us how to make it happen. Right. And then we can have a bunch made and do them as giveaways. Right. A bunch. We're not. But that was a joke when we said you should all make them. <laughs> um, I'm a mutt, oh. but a good bit of Irish in me. So, okay. Um, oh, you I... Presents are everything, says David Thielen. Well, yes, they are. I buy myself whatever I want throughout the year. I just like to eat good food with family and friends. That's what I like. You know, John found out when we were in Canada together this year how much I loved Lush, and then he also told me that he loved Lush. Now, I'm not a rich bitch like John. I can't afford Lush all year long, <laughs> but I look forward to their after Christmas sale where you get to buy one, get one free of everything. So I woke up early the day after Christmas, ran to my Lush store, and John, I know you said you saw the pictures, but here they are again. That's the <sighs> bath ball section. But I thought you're making your own balls now. Who cares? That's the soap section of Lush. Oh. You know where all the big things yes. of soap go? I'm That's trying to imagine again. Yeah, there it is. I go once a year and I buy everything at once. Well, I look so forward to that all year long, and see, and I couldn't get one thing. And then don't even ask me about ordering online; it didn't work out. And then I tw I tagged them in the tweet with the picture, and then they sent me free stuff. Well, they've never sent me anything. Oh. They sent um Miss Don Draper Maybe. did a Periscope from the <laughs> store, and they sent her a bunch of stuff, which I believe she says she's gonna wants to give some away. Oh, they're so generous. Yeah, I mean, I just tagged them in my tweet, and they. And they sent me stuff, and maybe because you're competing with them by making the knockoff of the product. Excuse me. There was a lot of tweets this Christmas that said, "At Reality Recaps, thanks to you, we now know what Lush is, and it's the best gift ever." All I want them to do is give us stuff to give away to fans. It's not like I want it for me. I talk about it so much. I'd like to have something to give away to people. Sure. Um, where is Miss Don Draper? Probably sleeping. I think um, she's probably sleeping. I think she said she wasn't feeling good on Twitter, I saw, or something. David oh, no. Thielen. David, David Thielen says the John and Eric pillows are a good idea for roach repellent. See what I said about framing him for a mur or suing yeah. him, John? You get it now? We don't have to frame him for just sue him. No. Well. He has, he has a certain lush he wants. I bet you could help him. I don't know what that means. Eric is turning green with envy. And Della G says, you're a meanie. I'm a meanie? Well, yeah, you're rubbing the lush in my face and not in the good way. Um. So what was your favorite thing, John? I see people saying, what was the favorite thing you had to eat on Christmas? What was your, did you make something specific or what was your favorite thing that you had to eat at Christmas? Um, oh my gosh. Probably like a peach cobbler pie with vanilla bean ice cream. Oh, a peach cobbler pie. Didn't expect that. I did not expect you to say a peach cobbler. Mm-hmm. 
Patricia too says Gumba was her favorite. Yes, chat room. Mm. Chat room, tell us what some of your favorite things were. Oh, Sammy Sam is bringing it back, says eggs. You know, I, from Jack the Ripper says, I have a friend who's the manager at a Lush shop where I live. Yeah, Union Jack Ripper. I hear this a lot. Nothing. I don't mean from you, but we had somebody <laughs> else, too, who was like, I'm a manager at Lush. I'm going to hook you up. And I never heard anything again. Um, I got over getting my Lush oh, drink. Oh. But, I, but I have to say, again, me, Lemu, sent me a delicious piece of Lush soap. And honestly, John, since you're a Lush fan... Maybe you know what this is, and I'm embarrassed to say I don't even know what this is. But it's like a half... A, I've never even seen a half of a Lush ball before. So I don't know what it is. But, but I don't know. It's weird. But thanks. It looks like a clay mask. No, it's like a bath ball. It's hard like a bath ball. Yeah, but, but sometimes they're in the shape of a half ball, and so when you get them wet, it, it gets a little... Where you can put the mask on. Oh, I wouldn't know. I have good skin. Um, ranch cookie. <laughs> Just not educated. <laughs> Sunny B. Glad you got good skin. <laughs> You're gonna need it. <laughs> Sun Sunny B says, I got ranch cookies. Oh, for, it was a bar mm. scrub. Interesting. I have to say, the my favorite thing that I had, and I think I'm going to get it again tonight for dinner, yet oddly enough, the best thing I had for Christmas dinner, John, chicken gyros. Really? From the Greek restaurant. Uh, it wasn't technically Christmas. It was the day after Christmas. It was my in my mother in law's birthday, and she was in the mood for lamb. So no one wanted to cook lamb. They got gyros. They found a way around it. And I don't like lamb, so I got a chicken gyro. But it was delicious. I never eat the lamb ones either. I always get the chicken as well. Ah, that's right. another thing we have in common. Oh my gosh. Because why would you want to eat a poor baby lamb that they have to chain to the floor and don't let? Walk? Well, I'm just I'm trying to get away from pork and beef, and I just want to eat birds. I just want to eat birds. Well, you could fake eat them like you fake ate that egg. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm going to make you eat an egg. <laughs> I'm just trying to bring it up. We have <laughs> we got a lot of hits to that video and that web page. <laughs> um, Giselle says, favorite thing I had, fagua I smuggled <laughs> from France. What's fagua again? Foise gras. Isn't it eggs? Isn't it fish eggs? Fish? No, it's caviar. Oh, caviar. Well, I'm sure she'll tell us. Um, the Maximus mom says the 10 minute caramel corn bag eating. Can't believe he ate it so fast. That's right. Maximus mom said caramel corn and it was gone in a second because. That's good. My mother in law made lasagna and it was gross. So I didn't eat any of it and I was starving. How do you um, mess up lasagna? We'll ask her. Um, goose liver. Maximus mom says goose liver. Yeah. Fagua, yeah. Oh, goo or duck. oh, frog legs. Fagua is frog legs. Or liver of the goose or duck. Well, what's the right answer? We're getting too many answers on this. They all sound bad. <laughs> oh. Da David, David Thielen says, I just want to say I was kidding and I love you. Now, excuse me while I eat my last piece of macapulet. Yum. Ah, oh, is that Middle Eastern candy? You know what that is? I have some. You were listening to the show before you came on, you <laughs> dickbag. There's no way you have any of that. <laughs> um, I just love hearing you pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> um, hope. Oh, Middle Eastern candy. <laughs> A uh, goose okay. liver. Yeah. <laughs> goose, yeah. Mm. Allison, we hang in the eateries and love both. Um, okay. Uh, Cadbury egg. Right, right, right. I'm like basic Becky. I enjoy our huge spiral cut Christmas ham. Do you have a mm -hmm. Christmas ham, John? I know a lot. We of had a Christmas ham. We had Christmas ham. We had roasted pork. I made my festive holiday salad. And then I also, my mother-in-law likes a pistachio kind of ambrosia salad. And I use um, pistachio nuts, pistachio jello, um, Cool Whip, and a big chunks of pineapple from a can. Interesting. Like and I put it all together with marshmallows. And I have a kind of a pistachio ambrosia salad and it's green. It's really yummy. We had lasagna, bread, and a salad. I made my turkey. I got my injectables again. Oh, recreated Jesus the whole Christ. Thanksgiving spread. Had that for Christmas Eve. And then my mother-in-law did Christmas dinner. And then 
two days later, two of my, ne- my nephew and niece had a birthday. And that was last night. And we had to dress up in our pajamas. It was a Peter Pan themed party. And we were one of, I don't know what they're called, the Lost Kids or the Lost, lost boys, boys. Whatever. So I had a, um, like a Davy Crockett hat on in my pajamas. You need to start bringing photos to the show on your iPad is so you can do a little show and tell to go along. Oh, totally. That's a good idea for 2016. Or you can just friend my public Facebook account and I can pull them up on here. Oh, um, I just realized I wasn't friends with your public one. <laughs> oh. uh, well, it has to be. The- oh, you heard the invitation here first, well, everybody. Eric's well, you're in the fa- oh, maybe you are, are because you're in the Facebook group. I'll look. Oh my I'll God. look up and see if uh, oh. I can bring up John's pictures. Oh, I'll friend Halle Berry and I'll friend. Uh, and, uh, but, oh. oh yeah, you are. Oh yeah, you are. Oh here, I got your picture. Um, Amanda Zuckerman friended me. She had to re-friend yeah. everybody. I do have the picture oh. of you in the pajamas. However, there's a person uh, in blue pajamas. Is it okay if I show that picture? That was Christmas Eve, but yeah. Okay. That's yes, we can year. show the picture. Yes. Hello? Yes. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Okay. There. I, so that's not your Lost Boys outfit? That's, That's not, not my Lost Boys outfit. outfit. That, that is my Christmas sweater, my Not Today Satan, and my Christmas um, pajama bottoms. And that's my nephew and his Seahawks um, onesie that I got. We got him for Christmas. I got, I got to say, um, we got onesies as well for Christmas, and uh, neither of us fit in them. Oh, no. I don't know what that means. It uh, means, well, um, I guess there's no many picture. Christmas treats. <laughs> There's no picture of you. Oh, well, here's the only other pi- Christmas picture that I see of something you talked about. Here's you with your, um, I guess, mashed potatoes that you made? Oh, oh I, I have, have my own chafing tray, so that is my potatoes, potatoes and that looks like my corn pudding or my stuffing. Oh, you made and stuffing then, for your turkey. I made stuffing, potatoes, my corn pudding, and then I have my own professional silver trays with the flames underneath. That keep everything warm so that everybody... It's like a catering. It is like a catering. Yeah. And, okay, and now lastly, I'm just going to show this picture. <laughs> Can I show the picture of you and Terry and Bianca Del Rio? Yeah. Okay, this is a very nice picture of you. I enjoy this picture. When was this yeah. from? Oh, this, this is when we saw her show, I think, a few months ago. We saw um, her Roll it, Decks of Hate show, and it's hilarious. And you can download it if you go to her website, BiancaDelRio.com, and download it. It's super, super inexpensive, but it's hilarious. So we got to meet her. I want to yeah. see that Roll of Decks of Hate. Um, Crafty Chick says, ooh, John, you're fancy. Uh, ooh, Trek Lord says, your nephew's hot. Mm. Um, <laughs> wow, John went all out, says Breezy Babe. Maximus Mom says, John, you sound like a god. And she also said, pistachio jello before? You were saying you did something with um, pistachio. I did. So you get like a container of Cool Whip. A bag of mini marshmallows, pistachio jello, and um, I get pistachios that, that, that have already been cracked open. And I mix it all together with um, a can of, a big can of pineapple chunks with the juice. And I make pistachio kind of ambrosia salad. So it's not really a jello, mm-hmm. like, a, like a jelly jello, but it's like a salad with the marshmallows. And it's my mother-in-law's favorite thing, so interesting yeah. now john um, i'm a pistachio i love pistachio anything ice cream love it i i agree i do love pistachio i tried to make hard-boiled eggs and couldn't do it i gave up halfway through i had a mental breakdown and i know that you love to make deviled eggs but i couldn't do it for i me. buy them already done not the deviled egg part but i already buy buy them boiled and skinned already oh. i just cut them in half and Take out the centers and make my stuff. Well, now the truth comes out. Okay, one little. I could never fake my egg thing. Never. Can't do it. No, you can't do it. 
But here's a flashback to what I was saying earlier in the show. Oh, yeah. I noticed John's <laughs> Christmas tree that uh, is half uh, yeah. ba- garbage bags um, over there. And That's the actually very, I wrapped him because I was done. done. Well, you were done with something. <laughs> now, John, longtime supporter of the show, who we love, Wilding Tongues, it's her birthday today and she said what? she wants you to sing to her wild and wilding, wilding tonks it's her birth wilding tonks so we have to sing happy birthday happy, happy bur- go ahead hey to you to you happy birthday to you wilding tonks happy birthday Dear Wild in Tongues. With a capital W, capital T. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Oh my God, you make a good duet. There good you times. go. Good times. So. There you go. Oh, there, with my little hand. Happy birthday, Wilding Tongues. Yay! And Trek Lord says, John, you just made Marilyn Manson roll. I mean, <laughs> or Marilyn Monroe, whatever. You, oh, just, that's not much of a difference there, Cardo. You probably made them both roll over. Um, boys, please don't quit your day job, says Cupcakes for Lily. We can't, but thanks. We cannot. <laughs> Um, Crafty Chick says, Manson, Monroe, same thing. Wow, you get the deluxe birthday package, Wilding Tongues. Right? Exactly. All right, so we only have a few more minutes left. If you have any other Christmas questions for John or myself, now's your chance to ask them. Um, and, and now, now, John, I have a question for you. What are you doing for New Year's Eve? Keeping it low key. Maybe just going out to dinner and I'm just going to be hanging out here. Why? Well, I don't want to put... Well, see, I'm not going to say I'm putting you on the spot because, again, I don't really know either. I keep. I told people I would let them know today. I wasn't even going to ask you till I knew. And I got to be honest, everyone, I'm still not 100%. I swear I'll let you know by, like, noon Eastern tomorrow. But what I was thinking was if I ended up being home, maybe, like, um, before midnight Eastern... Uh, we do a live show and like count down to midnight. I don't know how much earlier I would go, like maybe do a two hour show, end at midnight. But again, I'm not 100% sure. It depends on what the hubs wants to do. And I just haven't had a minute to nail them down yet. So that's good for you, though, John, because that's three hours early for you. I mean, you can still... I could just do the show, do New Year's and then turn around and get New Year's again. Right. You techni- You should just do it. <laughs> No, I think we should. I think we could get a lot of guests to come on. I think we could get like reality think, people. Just yeah, to- I think we should. All right, everyone. Well, here's what I'll say. Make sure you're following John on Twitter at Comedy Jonah. Make sure you're following me on Twitter at Reality Recaps. And I promise, before noon tomorrow, I will let Eastern. I will let you know something about what I can do. And then once I know what I can do. We'll see what what John can do and uh, who we can get to come on. Totally. Sounds like fun. It will. I think it'll be I think it'll be good. I'd like to do maybe I get hubs to come on the show. You never know. Right? You never know. And David Thielen says, do a show drunk out of your mind with fireworks. Oh, I think I will be intoxicated if it's a New Year's show. Um, Eric, we don't want you nailing down your hubs. Uh, God, if, I don't know what that means. Need a celebrity guest? I was Little Miss America in 1968, says Blinky. Do you saw the outfit? Only if you wear the outfit. <laughs> I will say if we do stuff for New Year's, we definitely will take callers. I think we would definitely yes. have to take callers. And by the way, when we do that, we can go like this. Boop and John and I. And then the caller can come on and it'll throw us over. So we're already prepared. We are already prepared to take callers on a New Year's show. I got this down. 
Um, all right. Here is the last question for us, John, and it is from Shelly T. <laughs> and she wants to know, what was your favorite gift you got for Christmas, John? Oh, what I'm wearing. Not today, Satan. What was your second favorite Christmas gift, John, that you haven't already showed us? I swear if you pick up the emoji pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to. What was your third favorite Christmas gift, John? <laughs> what was your favorite one we haven't seen? Oh, gosh. I'm so boring besides what I'm wearing. I got um, a water pick that you hold in your hand and it doesn't have the thing that sits on the counter full of water. Okay, that's exciting. Yeah, they're expensive, so... Yeah, so my secret Santa, we do a secret Santa, and I got a, a, wa a handheld water pick without attached to the reservoir sitting on your counter. It's all in your palm of your hand. That's exciting. That it's, is. I'm thrilled, <laughs> you know, when you get this age, it's just exciting things. Everybody is loving it. You see the chat room, they're loving it. Cordless, they think it's cordless, I think it's great. Yeah, I was, th these take work. I hear you. I, you want to hear the most disgusting TMI thing about <laughs> that? I have the metal one that you use to scrape tartar off of your tooth. It's it's literally just a metal pick. You, it's it's technically a dentist tool, and people are not supposed to have it. But we knew a dentist, and I'm really anal about wanting to. Okay, so whatever. So I have that metal pick the dentist used. Got it. You know how Charlie has the cyst on his tail. Or maybe you didn't know that, but he had the cyst on his tail. Um, so it it uh, burst the other day, and I go upstairs, and my hubs tells me I'm using that pick to push the stuff out of it. And I was like, well, thank God you told me before I used it on my teeth. He's like, you can just rinse it off. Oh, we all know you've had worse things in your mouth. I didn't have dog cyst juices in my mouth. So I was just like, oh, thank you. He's like, just rinse it off with soap and water. I've had it in bleach for like two days. I don't know. Giselle says boil it. Yeah, I guess I would boil it. Or is it a boil? I don't know. What was your favorite gift? Everybody was wanting to know. My favorite, well, my favorite gift was from Terry uh, Z, who we all know supports mm -hmm. so much of us at Reality Recaps. She, um got the new ipad pro which is going to help us be able to do a lot of stuff at reality recaps too that we've wanted yay to do. those are nice so i definitely and glammy got one too glammy glammy got one the day it came out remember she's like i bought yeah. two and a bmw parked on my lawn remember that day when she was like i got bmws and ipad pros and sixes okay you people are poor poor where's my chanel bag that's what she said that day um oh, song he, uh -oh. i miss that girl well john i'm glad you said that songy wants to know where is glammy and little big red says what happened to glammy now john Glammy's on holiday darling on holiday you can follow her on twitter at princess glammy and see where see where she's at but john here's yes. something that you don't know i have to go to tampa uh for work at the end of january tampa is where glammy lives mm -hmm. and where a whole bunch of fans are and i said we should all meet up and go sneak up and just knock on glammy's door like there's at least 20 people who are from T from tampa in our chat room i want to <laughs> all meet like on the corner of glammy's block go live on you now text her and be like hey glammy you home and she'll be like yes i'm home i'm washing my <laughs> chanel bags and then i'll be like great and then we just ring her doorbell and be like we're here wouldn't that yeah. be funny i'd kill us but yes i think it would be amazing allison p says we'd be arrested <laughs> no she wouldn't <laughs> arrest us what would she do she would be so happy 
<laughs> I'd be like, everyone, grab a Chanel bag. Grab a Chanel bag. Um, She'd be like Sonia and make us wait in her entryway and not let us in the house. Oh, seriously. You know. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know that would happen. Mm -hmm. David Thielen says, I can't afford the bail. Oh, David Thielen, are you in Tampa? <laughs> uh, Giselle says, I'll stay in the car with the gin. Yes, Giselle, stay in the car with the gin. And shoes off. Well, all right. We had such a fun show talking to all of you. So, um, John, you are going to go get on Kelly. Uh, this week. Yes. That is John's job. He's getting on Kelly. We'll let you know back on that. Um, I'm sure I'll be doing a fan show. Otherwise, perhaps Thursday night, uh, we will be back um, to do something New Year's-ish. I'll let you know real soon. Where can the people find you on Twitter, John? You can find me all over social media at Comedy Jonah. Yes, they can. Um, and you guys know, follow me at Reality Recaps. Check out all of our stuff, yourrealityrecaps.com, all of our Bravo stuff at yourrealityrecaps.com slash Bravo. Uh, click on the buttons below John if you're watching this on YouTube. Give us a nice rating, subscribe. Use our Amazon links if you got shopping to do. Become a patron, yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron. Uh, get access to our patron group, special shows for patrons, and so much more. Click away. All the links are below is what I think John is saying. And That's watch, what I'm saying. And watch all of our back shows. I think I forgot I'm supposed to post John's Survivor tape in the patron group. I might have to go do that. Uh, you remember your oh. Survivor audition when you yes. sat around in a circle and turned into <laughs> Supergirl? Uh, Megan Wheelie says, patron group, so much fun. It is. We'll, Yay, it we, is. We will see you guys there. Um, uh, so no, uh, no more scheduled shows for the rest of this week. But like I say, I will be popping on, follow us, and perhaps Thursday night um, uh, we'll do something for New Year's. But just follow us on Twitter and on you now, and we'll let you know exactly what's happening. We love you guys. We'll see you guys.